Okay, scratch that last one. There's something else that actually is the best thing ever. Okay, so my students use these laptops in class and something that I have done for the past like four or five years is have them do arithmetic practice on the computers. Uh, what I've done in the past when I've taught math, I've had the students do math facts practice when uh, like on a sheet of paper and that I didn't really like the idea of that because of the fact that it wastes so much paper each time that we do it. Um, so. Uh, I tried putting a piece of paper with math facts in it in like a clear plastic sheet where they could use a dry erase marker uh, to, to write on the outside of it and then they could just wipe it off after they do the math facts. And uh, I realized that that bothered me too because of the fact that the students always like skipped the problems that they didn't want to do. So the hard ones like 7 times 8 is something that a lot of students can't remember and so they would skip those ones. Uh, so I discovered that there's something online that the students uh, can do math facts practice on. I call it arithmetic practice. And they aren't able to skip any questions. They have to get it right before they move on to the next one. And it times them for however long you want and it uh, does whatever problems you want and it's very awesome. Let me show it to you. So the student goes to my website and when they go to my website they scroll down and they click on this little button that I put on. It says arithmetic practice. And so I made this page on my website where they go and they, um, I, at the beginning of the year, I read this to them and explain how math facts practice uh, is really good. Research shows that it's important for students to master basic math facts and um, it's really helpful in life, not just in math class. So anyway, uh, I set up different links for them to go to if we want to practice addition or subtraction or multiplication or division or a mixture of them all. And so what happens is, like let's say we're doing multiplication practice, they click on this and it goes to this website, which is an awesome website. It gives you math problems and it times you. So here are the number of seconds left right here. So I time them for two minutes and then their score is up here. So they have to type in the problem, so 56, and then it goes on to the next problem. But if they get a problem wrong, like if they type in 8, for example, for this one, it doesn't go on to the next problem. So they have to backspace and type something else in until whatever it is that they type in that's correct, and then it goes on to the next problem. So they can't skip any problems, so they, and they have a limited time so that they can't go beyond that time. It is very exact and very precise. So it's very helpful for uh, keeping track of it. And so I call this arithmetic practice and, and it solves all the problems that I've had in the past. So I've been doing this for the past five years and I haven't had any problems with it. It's great. And they track their progress over time too. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it is, when they're all done, when the time is up it gives them a score, so whatever their score is, and then they could either try it again if they want or they can change the settings. And I tell them, no, don't change the settings because uh, it needs to be precise so that it tracks your progress with the same limitations each time. But if you're a teacher and you want to change the settings, you can go into this, the link I'll, I'll put in the description below, um, but you can change the settings and sometimes the kids play with this, but not very often. Uh, you can change uh, w whether or not they do addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. You can change the range of the numbers that they're adding or subtracting or multiplying. And you can change the duration, how, how long it's timed for. So there's all these options that are really awesome. Whoever designed this website, uh, I really appreciate it. I do not know because I go to this website and I just found it online and it's zetamac.com. And I can't figure out like who the author is or anything. I go to zetamac.com and it just brings me to this arithmetic website. So, and then I click start and then I just copied this link from the top and then put the link into my website. So yeah, this is something that is really great for my students. And let me show you what I have them do. I have them go to Google Drive. And what they do is they have a spreadsheet that tracks their progress. So I set up this template on Google Sheets and so I share on Google Classroom with the students and then they copy this template and make their own. And so they log all of the, the dates. So they log in to today's date and then the problems that were completed. And over time we hope to see the trend going up. And 
uh, as they fill in this data, it automatically changes the graph so they don't even have to touch it. And it's good practice, especially for fifth grade, to you know see how data changes changes the chart based on what is inputted, and they can see how it changes the trend line and stuff like that. So it's just great practice. So this is definitely the best thing ever, especially when it comes to math class and teaching kids about the importance of learning their basic math facts. This is very helpful and very awesome and definitely the best thing ever. So check out this website in the description below and hope you guys appreciate it as much as I do. So have a good day. Thanks.